Here's part three of our conversation with the great Steve Hackett, one of my favorite guitarists. He left the band in 1977, and he's been going strong ever since. His new album follows in the footprints of what he's been doing live. He was on the famous Genesis album, Seconds Out. Most consider that to be the best live Genesis album. And he's been touring different full version of Genesis albums for the last few years. Do you get a chance to talk to the guys at, uh, before or after their last show when they, uh, when I know Peter was there and people were asking, why didn't Peter get on stage? And I went, it wasn't about Peter at that point. You know, he was backstage, but I, I well, and I tried to explain to people that, but anyway, go ahead. The truth is I had a ton of shows booked and I was worried about uh, all, all the nights when they were working, I was working at the same time. Sometimes we were in the same town, the same night. And, um, uh, so I couldn't. And then there was one night, which I think was either their last show or close to it. And I knew I was about to undertake a two month tour of the United States and Canada. And I thought, if I catch COVID by going along to this show, sitting there in an audience, this is, you know, I'm responsible for everyone else's night out. People who've bought <clears throat> tickets three years ago, and we only just managing to deliver those shows now. As it happens, one of our number caught COVID and the Canadian gigs had to be sidelined once again. So they're going to happen at the end of the year. And there's some extra extra uh, 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 American dates to support that. Cost of freight goes up. You know, uh, 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 so, you know, we have to travel a long distance with expenses and make things work out financially so i'm i'm just you know with those few days i'm just looking for a break even rather than trying to make a, a profit with that that's the idea is not to lose your shirt that's the idea yeah have you uh, i know you're in contact with peter now and then uh, he hasn't yeah. he hasn't played you any of his new album has he no ha uh do you know something i don't has he finished a new one or is it close well manu cachet or... his drummer has i hope i'm saying that right has said that uh, he they were working on a new album they're swinging around but you know peter's so secretive about especially his music i was just right kind of so. no I, I i don't know anything last time i spoke to him was on our mutual birthday we, we share right the same birthday by 24 hours and so um i gave gave him a call around about the birthday and um we had a little chat and he said he was working on new stuff. That's all I knew then. So I don't know if it's ready, ready to roll now. It's a perfect time for him to release that because for me at the moment, I'm not bringing out anything new other than the live stuff, of course, which is already in the charts over here. And it's right next to Ed Sheeran, it seems. I'm one place higher in the chart than Ed Sheeran. But hey, maybe he's been higher and he's on the way down with that, <laughs> you know, very talented man. We'll have more from Steve Hackett in the next few days. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. Links to Steve Hackett in the top of the description. If you want to help the channel, there's Patreon links and PayPal links at the very top as well. Make sure to like the video. This is Rock History Music.